practice of shift system in education is not only strenuous but also opens the floodgate for truancy among students, thereby negatively affecting academic output. It is the reason many assemblies bedeviled with the kanka tries everything possible to avoid it by improving educational infrastructure. Unfortunately, the Kpon Katamansu municipality still has to endure the shift system in most of the schools for lack of adequate infrastructure to suffice the growing population. The municipal chief executive, Samuel Amankwa, explains the situation. 28 separate schools are running shift in Kpon Katamansu. If government doesn't come in on time, some more schools will join the shift system because what is happening now is all over our municipality some communities don't have even basic schools okay. uh -huh. so they walk all the way to the few ones that we have it is however worthy of note that the assembly is not throwing its hands in despair as it has strategized to partner with corporate organizations to improve the situation. I had an encounter with Gapua uh, this year. I lobbied for a classroom blog and they have decided to give us a six unit, but it's going to be two story, two six unit classroom and we are sending that one to Zeno cluster of schools. Before these plans come to fruition, the assembly has been building some school blocks at some existing schools to decongest the classrooms. We completed a two-story classroom, six-unit classroom. We we are done with the down one at Punhana, where it's called Kokumpi. Okay. Actually, that place is called Light Industrial Area. Okay. We have the down completed. The senior high school, we have a, a day senior high school, the Yi blog. Okay. In fact, it was started in the time of NDC under uh, uh, Mama. Yeah. And then it was completed under uh, uh, Nanadu. We are currently using it, but because we don't have boarding facilities, it's a challenge. People come from all the way Tema, New Town, and then the surrounding communities. Some have to walk to the place before they get to school, they are already tired. The municipal chief executive has also made an appeal to the Minister for Education for a special attention to be given to the municipality as the situation is dire. Appealing to the minister that um, I know he's doing a great job and I give him thumbs up but Pugatama so we are yet to receive our fair share of the great job that he is doing shift system should be completely out of the system and for that one to happen the central government has to focus its attention to Pugatama so so the minister who is in charge of education I want to believe is listening or you have a copy of this uh, uh, video. It should take a, 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 a tour. It should come to Punkatamansu, visit the municipality, let us take him around and have a feel of what is happening on the ground.